Welcome back everyone, and prepare to be bedazzled, because today we're going to be commencing a tutorial video appertaining to how to assemble the Samsung Odyssey G32A series 27 inch FHD 1080p 165Hz gaming monitor. Without further ado, without further delay, let's allow the frivolities and antics to commence. Here we go. So as you can unequivocally see, we have a myriad of items behind me. Barring the Pokemon figures, we have the gaming monitor. Lamentably, much of my dismay, much of my consternation, much of my distress, much of my grief, much of my agony, and much of my irritation, I had to acquiesce to procuring a new monitor. My antiquated monitor became unusable after a decade elapsed. So it's quite tragic, it's quite a travesty, it's quite a farce, but it is what it is. I presume that that monitor would last for at least two decades in lieu of a single decade, but it is what it is. I, excess I excessively utilized it because I work remotely as an entrepreneur. So it comes at the cost of incurring monitor depreciation costs, to say the least. Lamentably, it is what it is. So. There's no need to be aggrieved. Let's try to expeditiously assemble the monitor. Here's an instruction manual that I can reference, but I'm going to desist, abstain, and refrain from referring to it. I just try to leverage my intuition to miraculously figure out how to assemble it without the aid of an instruction manual. Can this be pitch purged and relegated to the dumpster? Well, it's not advisable to do so. However, it is devoid of practicality if you refrain from using it. Here are the cables. We also have a power adapter. I do not want to batch up the um, setup process. It takes ample time to extract the peripherals from the wrappings. It takes billions of picoseconds. Does it yield a negative return on time investment? It will, this monitor does not work. But since it's new, it presumably will not malfunction upon being set up. But only time will tell what will transpire. The future is enigmatic and obscured behind a penumbra of time. Can this monitor pivot? We'll find out. Am I elated? Am I ecstatic? Am I jovial? Am I jubilant? Am I buoyant? Am I gleeful? Here's the screen of the monitor. It'd probably behoove me to reference in the instruction manual. I'm hoping I don't need a screwdriver. I doubt I do, but I may, you never know. I'm just assembling the bottom base. You just screw the bottom part into the top part. I guess this elongated part is the neck of the base. Mm -hmm. 
There's no superfluous, needless pieces that came with this monitor. Um, so once the base is assembled, you just you do subsequently um, attach a monitor to the base. I'm under the axiom that you can just simply screw it in. In hindsight, I more than likely should have utilized the instruction manual. I think this could be ported into the monitor. We will find out momentarily. I'll keep you abreast of what is about to transpire. Stay tuned. There we go. The back piece can pour it into the back of the monitor. It can just be snapped into the back of the monitor. It's as simple as that. Um, the base, however, needs more support. So We'll utilize this piece to um, furnish it with additional support so it is more tenable and so that um, it's less flimsy and um, a little more stable. Honestly, hoping that it will never fall down. And all you have to do is just plug the um, cables in the monitor and you're good to go. Your monitor should have the corresponding ports. Um, this monitor is a HDMI monitor, so if you have a VGA cable, you have to buy an adapter. So, oh, I think this is an HDMI cord. I didn't realize that until just now. So it comes with an HDMI cord to render it usable. A power cord and a power adapter so you could just hook up all these cables and subsequently plug the um, HDMI cord into the back of your computer's HDMI port and you'll be good to go so
It's as simple as that. I should reference the instruction manual to make sure that this additional piece um, is properly being leveraged. There's a caveat of the HDMI cord. Everything is plugged in to the monitor. I think it has um, two HDMI ports. Although I'm not 100% certain, I. I need to wear my glasses to be able to decode the font is too small to read. So lastly, let me just reference this manual real quick because I um, am uncertain of that bottom piece is being utilized correctly. Um, Actually, it's meant to go around the monitor. That's why it has these protrusions. I initially presumed that these um, plastic pieces were for the base. So everything is ostensibly assembled correctly. We have the HDMI cord um, ported into um, the HDMI port. We have the power adapter set up and um, the power cable is plugged into the monitor. We, we assembled the stand and um, the monitor is screwed into the um, uh, neck piece of the stand. So hopefully it will not fall. If it does, then it will more than likely um, shatter. So. I think we're good to go, but maybe I should just screw everything a bit tighter to render it an app to um, unscrew. Hopefully this mount is um, durable and um, not tenuous, nor feeble, nor fragile, nor flimsy. And hopefully the monitor lasts for at least two decades, or two-fifths of, or I should say one-fifth of a century, or two-fifths of half of a century. Thanks for watching.